I'm going to show you how to rip a GameCube game on your Wii when you have a soft modded Wii with the homebrew channel. Uh, this is the game that I'm going to do, Sonic Mega Collection. So on the Wii, once you have a homebrew channel, boot it up. And you'll install a program called CleanRip, which you'll put in your apps folder on your uh, your SD card. And when you go to CleanRip, you hit CleanRip and load it. Okay, it just says he's not responsible. Now I have a USB device right here. It is a HP. 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive formatted into um, formatted into FAT32. Load that in, and it says select device type. The one on the left is USB, and it says it has to be in FAT, so FAT32. So you press OK, and it says something's not found. I always just say yes, so it finds it and it downloads. So make sure you're uh, connected to the internet. So I'm going to grab the game here. And it, it updated and saved it. I'm going to just pop it in while it's doing that. Pop in the GameCube disc. It says on the screen, insert GameCube and Wii DVD disc. Press A, and it starts to initialize the disc. And then it starts to record. It takes about 10 minutes. And I will come back when it's done. So after about 9 minutes, it completed its uh, copy. So you just press A. And then it's done. So I can hit home. Because it's now on my device. And I'm going to just shut down my Wii. And once we extract the hard drive and go over to the computer, then you put this in your computer and you can figure out what to do from there. So now that your computer, once it loads up, you get your disk file, which is right here, which is an image file. Uh, the other stuff is just information. The only one you need is this disk file. So I'm going to cut it out of here. I'm going to move it over to my other folder, which has all my GameCube games on it. Um, once I paste it in here, it'll take a couple minutes, or a couple seconds. Once it's pasted in here, then I'll show you how to you know, make the file a little bit smaller so when you fit on your hard drive it doesn't take up as much space. Okay, so I now successfully transferred it over to um, my file here and there's the file. Now you just drag the file into this program called Disk X and what it does is it comes up and it creates the file that will make it be able to run off of USB loader, GX, or, or your program that you're using. So now it should be up here. That's it right there. You can tell by the game size right there. So we're going to shrink down the game size. So all you have to do is rename this file. So we're going to just go to rename, rename the file, and just put like one at the end of it. Now once it's renamed, you open this program right here called GM Utility, or GCM Utility, which brings up this program. You add the ISO, you search through your GameCube games and find it. It should be the one that says Game 1. And once you hit it open, it tells you what game it is. So that's the Sonic Mega Collection. You click on that, and then you say Shrink. 
very important that you save it as game dot i s o you must save it as game iso and once you hit save it runs through and then the file will be placed up here and then you can erase the game one and as you can see I actually shrunk it from uh, you know about a one meg or right down to one gigabyte so it did shrink a little bit not a whole lot so erase that and now it's ready to go Now, as far as I know, you can only launch GameCube games off of a FAT32 hard drive. So I formatted my hard drive to be only 50 gigabytes, um, and then the other half is for, or the rest of it's for game, uh, Wii games. But in your folder, your GameCube folder, once you make the partition, or you know you just use a hard drive that's completely for GameCube games you have to put a file in there just make a regular file so right click open new folder and then make a folder called games now once you're in games that's where all your games are listed so I have a couple in there right now but to show you those are the you know one of those games right here is the one that the Sonic one I did have another game though, so I'm going to add those both in there. So you just cut it out. So I'm going to cut them and then just paste them over here into my uh, into my hard drive here. So it's going to add two gigs in there. And now once this, these are added in here, then you can go to your Wii and it'll be able to play the the games in your U I use USB loader GX there's other ones that can it took me a while to figure it out there's a couple you know things that were difficult to get it started but I eventually did get it to work and I'll show you in a minute so now I successfully transferred them and this is my hard drive for my Wii it's a Western Digital Passport I think it's 200 gigabytes I'm not too sure I have a, a link for it that I'll put up so I'm going to start up my uh, Wii here so now a very important aspect of this is that you have to boot it from the homebrew channel I could try to load it from here but it won't work I guess you have to get like a certain forwarder I downloaded the newest one totally didn't work. I don't know how to get it to work, but it's fine. I'll just launch it from the channel here. So I'm going to launch USB Loader GX and load it up. Now once loaded, I have all these games on here. So it'll give you better there's the Sonic Mega Collection that we had. I think the other one I had was uh, Wave Race. As you can see, there's a mixture between GameCube and Wii games on here. You can always change that if you would like to. You can go... Um, I'm going to download the art for it real quick. So I'm just going to do black covers and custom banners. So it just connects to the internet here real quick. Oh, it's too many to download, but for this video. But you could show it by right here, where is it? Category. You can cancel out the Wii games, so then it just shows GameCube games. Another thing you might have to do is under your loader settings, I believe. want to make sure 
have DOS MIOS installed and I have version 2.2 and then everything is off and I believe in the hard drive settings I have multiple partitions so I have to click on for multiple partitions and USB port 1 is where mine's at I think there's one more under custom paths you're gonna have to go to The GameCube path, S or main GameCube path. And if you hit mine's under USB games one, make sure it's under that, and then it'll boot your games. So now, if I go back to my list here, now it's just GameCube games, and we downloaded Sonic Mega. So as soon as I hit start, Dios Mios will start. And once it starts, you feel your hard drive loading it. And I got my GameCube control and my Wave Bird here. And then it boots it. And it runs perfect. So there it is. Working perfectly. And that's my little quick guide right there. The playing um, Sonic and any other GameCube game you want on there. So if I went to just games, I have now a list of games that I can play of Sonic games. It looks like I can unlock some if I probably beat the other ones and whatnot or special things on it. So yeah, and it runs games flawlessly. It's pretty awesome. All right, that's my guide.